everyone, it's Sharonda from Paraways, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The official teaser is out from Hall H at Comic Con in San Diego. Oh, y'all don't even be doing no trailer reactions, but you know how I feel about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Emotionally, I'm not ready. Okay? I don't want to cry. Whoo. Whoo. Okay. Let me just go ahead and get to it. Let me just go ahead, hit play, see what happens. No woman will cry. Oh, no she's so pretty. Okay, Nakia. I like her hair. Is that the funeral? Good friends we are, and good friends we are. Along the way, in this great future, you can't forget your past. Everybody cries. So Wait, who pregnant? Oh, child, y'all got me thinking the kid pregnant. entire family like bruh bruh oh my god that really took me out didn't hear in the like we gonna be all i don't think i, I don't think i'm gonna be all right <laughs> i will say as i'm trying not to get emotional because that's just so sad like when you just hear her talking about how she lost her whole family and you see i'm assuming the scene in white is kind of like the funeral you see shuri crying the kids staring into the damn ocean and then when she oh, when she said she gave everything to her country okay mm, okay but the trailer looks really nice. It looks like, you know, we heard Ryan say that, you know, they're going places that we've never seen before. It looks really nice. And I do like, uh, Michaela Cole was announced as Aneka, um, who should be a love interest for Ayo. Um, so, and is a captain for um, in the Dora Milaje. So I'm excited to see, technically, I believe their story was that Aneka actually rec helped train Ayo, and then they kind of have like a secret relationship. So I'm assuming that's what we will see in this film as well. In this film as well. Um, but we do see, um, I think his name is Tinak uh, Verta, um, who plays Namor. Um, who I wanted to see him, I wanted to see the wings on his ankles to see him fly. But uh, Namor is actually basically, people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but whatever. He's basically like Aquaman. Okay, like the Marvel version of Aquaman. However, he is a mutant. Okay, so he is a mutant. So maybe we might, we ain't gonna get no X-Men references in this, but maybe we'll see Namor pop up in other ways. Um, he was also experimented on by the scrolls. 
Um, so there's a lot of different ways that his character can go, but I really like him. I watched him in a film, uh, Son of Monarchs, if you haven't checked that out, if you want to see him um, in a movie that he starred in, and also too in, I think it was called Madres on Prime Video. That was another good one. But I'm excited, y'all. I'm sad. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, y'all. I, I can't. Cause when they start playing the, like, we gonna be all right, I don't think I'm okay, Ryan. I am not going to be okay. Seeing everybody crying and seeing his mama, seeing T'Challa's mama talk about, I didn't lost my entire family. Like, this is a lot to unpack. This is, it's, I'm gonna be in my feelings for the rest of the night. I'm gonna be in my feelings for the rest of the night. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be in my feelings. Cause it's like, I thought that I was ready. I thought enough time had went by, but just watching it and knowing that Chadwick isn't going to be there, knowing that there, there's going to be a new Black Panther um, we saw kind of a glimpse of it. I don't know who it's going to be. Some people are saying, oh, it's gonna be Shuri. Oh, it's gonna be Mbaku. Maybe to be a new person. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm very excited to see what you think about the trailer in the comment section below. But I think it was the right tone. It's a somber tone. There's still beautiful set pieces in here as we get to see Namor and, and Atlantis, basically, I think, cause his mom, he's half human, half Atlantean. Mom was a princess um, in Atlantis. So I'm very interested to see what that world looks like with Namor, what the hell they did to get them pissed off because it looked like they were battling in because Adora Milaje was like going with their spears, going into the water. And then it was some Avatar looking people looking back up. I don't know, I'm just saying Avatar because that's the first thing that comes to my mind when I be seeing blue people. But I'm excited to see where they're going to go. I'm excited to see how this story is going to unfold, how they're going to handle the passing of T'Challa. Um, what is that going to look like? Whether or not they're going to just have another T'Challa or whether or not they're going to come up with a whole new Black Panther as a part of the tradition that we saw in the first standalone film. But honestly, I have faith in Ryan Coogler. Like it looks really nice. The like, production value, everything looks great. Um, I love the new costumes that we see Nakia in with the hair. Um, also, too, shout out to the whole, uh, the whole cast on the Call H panel because hair glowing, okay? Skin glowing. I was here for the entire presentation of how the entire cast looked. But I am going to watch this 15 million times for the rest of the night and I'm going to be in my feelings and I'm probably going to have a little cry once I get off camera. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below, what did you think of the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer? Are you excited? Has this gotten you more pumped up? Do you need a little bit more before you can get excited? Let me know in the comment section below what you thought, but those are my thoughts from my live trailer reaction for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. As always, my name is Sharonda from Payroll Ways, and if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit the notification bell. And I love you guys 3000, and until I see you again.